These three food colouring experiments are really easy to do at home with just a few household items. I'll put a full list of what you'll need in the description. For the first experiment, you'll need three cups. Fill two of the cups with water and mix in different coloured food dye. Then take some kitchen roll and fold it so that you can make a bridge between the full glasses and the empty one. All you'll need to do now is wait and watch the colour travel. The dyed water is absorbed and moved across the kitchen roll because the adhesive force between the water and the tissue is stronger than the cohesive force between the water molecules within the cup. For the next experiment, you'll need to fill a large jug or cup with water. Then, in a separate cup, pour in a small amount of vegetable or other oil. Add a few drops of different food colouring to the oil and mix. Pour the oil into the jug and watch as it rises to the top. Oil is less dense than water, so it floats. But food colouring is water-based and heavier than oil. The food colouring will slowly sink and mix in the water, making a nice, colourful show. For the last experiment, you'll need to pour some milk into a shallow bowl, then drip food colouring into it. Dip a cotton swab into some washing up liquid, then press that into the milk and food colouring mix. The colours will swirl away and create some nice patterns. This happens because of the positive and negative charges on the different molecules in the milk, food colouring and detergent. And there you have it, three easy food colouring experiments to do at home. Like, comment and subscribe for more home and classroom activities and educational videos.